I've been involved with the eChat from the very first days when it was in a paper form and we used to use it in our clinic. I was aware that I wasn't asking all the questions I should ask because there wasn't enough time. I sort of have this feeling about, say, smoking, is that if you don't ask every patient every time, you end up asking nobody ever. And that's, that, and that's one of the concerns. So I wanted to systematize the process of getting this information for myself and for my patients, basically. The, the touchscreen was an absolute watershed moment for the, for the project. Uh, I'd been involved in some research using a computer monitor in the waiting room and we found that patients would just go up and use it like an ATM machine. Uh, they wouldn't ask for permission, they would just start using it and just start tapping in information. So we realised that touch, touch screens were the way to go. And I guess the biggest breakthrough came through with the, with the concept of the iPad because it meant that uh, people could be handed it from the front desk and you didn't need to go to a particular part of the waiting room to actually fill it in and you didn't need a kiosk for privacy so people could have the, the, I, the iPad in front of them and it would be it would be private. I mean I think there's just going to be enormous developments in terms of e-health. Um, we're really at the sort of the crawling stage at the moment we haven't even begun to walk um, and I think in the next 10 or 20 years time we'll be We'll be running and sprinting.